In today's video, I'm going to be ranking every medallion that we have gotten in chapter five. So far this chapter, we have had 15 medallions, and this was actually a new concept that started back in chapter five, season one. I actually think it's a pretty interesting idea. I like some of the abilities that the medallions come with. So I'm looking forward to seeing which ones are like higher tier medallions and which ones are lower tier. I'm going to be starting in reverse order. So I'm going to be starting with our current season, chapter five, season four, and work my way down to chapter five, season one. So be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and use code tune spider in the item shop and now let's get started so typically with every medallion you had to eliminate the boss at a certain poi to gain their medallion besides the birthday one so these birthday medallions were all around the map and you had to use them to complete a birthday challenge to get the birthday rewards and honestly it was pretty annoying i did not like doing the challenge and i really didn't like this medallion at all so i'm going to be putting it in d tier i really don't have much else to say about this medallion besides happy birthday fortnite all right so now moving on to the actual medallions of season four we're we're starting with Mysterios, which honestly could have been the coolest medallion. And I felt like the trailer was a little misleading, or at least in my eyes it was because I got my hopes up. But essentially what this medallion does is it cloaks you for about 15 seconds and it's honestly not that good. Oh, and you can only be cloaked when you're crouched. So I'm going to be putting this in D tier. I honestly find it super useless. If I eliminate Mysterio, I'm definitely going to take his sovereign shotgun, but I am not taking the medallion. I will just leave it there. I really thought his medallion was going to be some sort of illusion type medallion but that's definitely not what it turned out to be up next is emma frost medallion and this one pings enemies that are nearby it feels like it happens about like once every 30 seconds or like once a minute i think it's a pretty useful medallion especially when you get to end game and if people are hiding it's going to locate where they're at so i'm going to be putting it in the s tier and yeah you can hire a couple npcs on the map to do the same thing but a you got to beat them there and b you got to spend gold so if you're going to land at the raft you might as well eliminate emma frost and get this medallion instead Dead. up next is the doom bots medallion over at doom castle this is the siphon medallion and i do like siphon a lot i think siphon should just be permanent to be honest so i'm going to be putting it in a i do think it's the second best medallion this season i will say i don't think i get this medallion as much as others i don't land doom castle that often but that is my ranking for the chapter 5 season 4 medallions now we're getting to the wreck season and honestly i think these are the better medallions but i am starting with the worst one of the three so machinist medallion regenerate Regenerated your health and capped up at 75 shield so it regenerated five shield per second which is nice if you're in a bind especially during a fight that will help you but I wouldn't say it had a huge impact on the gameplay or at least your individual gameplay so I'm gonna be putting it in B I think it's a worse siphon medallion up next is ringmaster scars which was the infinite ammo and it buffed the damage to all weapons by about five to six percent this one is for sure going in s plus infinite ammo isn't always the biggest deal but if you think about it during that wreck season where you're constantly shooting at cars it was very important to have as much ammo as you could because they take quite a bit to explode and on top of that a damage buff helps with every situation whether you're fighting enemies or you're fighting cars but this next medallion was probably the best one definitely the best one for that season maybe out of all of the medallions in chapter five but it is megalodon's medallion this is for sure going in s plus as well i actually have it better than ringmaster scars having infinite nitro effect was huge during that season it was easily the best mobility besides maybe the nitro fist but being able to move at that nitro speed all the time when you had that medallion was really clutch and i want to point out too with the chapter 5 season 3 medallions you had the ability to unlock the cars which was also very important because they were the mythic cars of the season up next is the chapter 5 season 2 medallions the myths and mortal season so we're starting out with Ares, the god of war and it also granted a weapon buff but it wasn't as good as ringmaster scars in my opinion it did about four to five percent but it was more on longer range weapons and what i mean by that by the longer range you were at when you were dealing damage the more of that buff increase you were going to get especially with like a sniper or a dmr i do think it's better than like the machinist medallion so i'm going to be putting this with the siphon medallion now hades medallion is the exact same as doom's medallion or the doom bot medallion so it's going to be going in a as well getting siphon on elimination is huge especially if you have a packed end game or you get third party it can be so clutch that's why i just wish it was in every game i wish it was automatic then we have zeus's medallion i'm kind of curious where i'm gonna put this one i'm be stuck between b and c um i know i gave like a 
speed and jump boost but that was only when your stamina was going like it didn't give you infinite stamina like megalodons did so it was great while you had stamina but as soon as you ran out then you were back to normal but because it did do that increase i will give it a b plus it could help negate fall damage if you were sprinting than jumping even from a very high point or from like a mountain then next is cerberus's medallion which was the dashing ability uh the same dashing ability you got from the sticks river except it was infinite so it's going in s plus because this medallion was huge for mobility the infinite dashes were amazing whether you're in a fight or you're rotating it was great for escaping third parties or if your health got low and you needed to dash away to go heal up and reposition it is perfect for that i genuinely like getting the dashes from the sticks river so having it infinitely the whole game as soon as you got the medallion was incredible these are easily my favorite medallions from this chapter so up next is the chapter 5 season 1 medallions now these aren't as unique but these were the first seasons that we got them so you got to remember that as well what was great about these ones though that only like the chapter 5 season 3 ones did to a certain extent was that that when you got the medallion you could go unlock a vault where you could get a bunch of chests and you can mod a weapon that was huge back then before they put the mod benches in bunkers around the map but by themselves these medallions essentially did the same thing if you had like nisha's medallion you gained up to 50 shield and i believe it went up two shield per second but what was nice about these medallions is the more medallions you collected throughout the game the higher your shield regeneration would go so of course one was 50 shield but if you had two it would be 60 shield three of them were 70 shield four of them were 85 shield shield and if you had all five it would regenerate your full 100 shield but because they all did the same thing i'm going to be putting them all in a as a group even though i'm tempted to put peter griffin's a little higher because he did the knee animation when you eliminated him but that, i guess that doesn't really count towards the medallion but this is my medallion tier list honestly i think a lot of them are pretty useful i think it's been a cool concept to have in chapter five even though i'd rather have augments from chapter four this was a cool and unique idea and the medallions did feel like they had a place in chapter five season one and chapter five season two i felt like they kind of fit those themes even though in season three and season four there have been some really good medallions i do like the unique abilities i do think that's pretty cool i wish they didn't show the medallions on the map to be honest i feel like it's kind of pointless because typically it's a giant circle anyways unless they collect like all three or all four but if they keep medallions around for chapter six maybe they will rework that a little bit but anyways this is my tier list for the medallions let me know what you think are the best medallions and some of the worst medallions and let me know if you would like to to see medallions in chapter six be sure to like and subscribe use code toon spider in the item shop and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace